Hi y'all, it's me, Apple. Ooh. Okay, so it's super late here. I mean, super late. I, th I don't even know what time it is. It's like three o'clock in the morning. And I have to be up at 7.30. No, whatever. But anyway, um, yeah, because I'm going to be in New Hampshire tomorrow. I'm going to be having a lot of fun. But anyways, okay, so something happened to me today in Jamaica Plain at the Jamaica Plain Pond. It was crazy. So, like, forgive me what I look like. I know I look crazy. But anyways, um, now I didn't make this realization until I actually got home. And I was just like, because I was just trying to figure this out, you guys, just trying to figure it out, okay? And I want to ask you, you, I want to ask all of you your opinion, what you guys think, okay? So, yeah, so today, man, I'm trying to get us back on schedule. School's going to be starting soon, and plus tomorrow we have like a big day. Da -da 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 -da. I'm trying to get back on the schedule, okay? Sleeping schedule. Um, so I decided that today we're just going to, like, stay out and be at the park all day long. Like, in, when I say park, I mean, like, it's a huge walking park, okay? It's like, this park, for the people who are not in Boston, don't know anything about Jamaica Plain, like, the pond is about three point, about, about four, three, about three, three miles long. Like, this park, like, the walking park all the way along the pond and then like the whole preservation i mean it's going to take you like hours just to walk from one end to the to the next right which by the way we walked home hold on a second let me pause this okay sorry about that okay this is a weird part so me and my family or well, me and my two sons we were having such a good time we were at the we had went down close to the pond, right? And we were skipping rocks and we were throwing, um, we were throwing big logs into the water. And I don't know, we were just having such a blast, right? And I don't know, I had like the suspicion like these people were staring at me. You know how that, that feeling is when like somebody's staring at you in the back of your head, you just get like that feeling like eh, somebody's staring at you. And you what you turn around and you like lo and behold somebody's staring at you whatever right. But when I had turned around, there was like these two old ladies. Now these like two old ladies look like they were rich, okay, so like really really well off. You can tell that they're well off because like they're old, but you can tell like if they need to jog after you, they're gonna jog after you because like they've taken so such great care of their bodies. I don't know like that kind of thing. That kind of, like, I don't know, I got that look from them, that feel from them, that they're, whatever. So, I don't know, I just don't like being stared at, number one. Um, I don't know, like, I have social anxiety anyways, keep that in mind. But I am not crazy, so keep that in mind as well, okay? Because I just, I, I don't know, like, if I'm being paranoid, or I just want to tell you, like, the whole story. Just so... <laughs> Just so you guys can, like, let me know what your opinion is. Okay. Now, I saw them sitting on the um sitting on the benches way behind us, and I was just like, we we were already sitting there. I mean, we're already there for about, I want to say an hour, like, you know, throw, feeding the ducks and throwing pebbles in and the wood and everything. We were just goofing about having really fun. But we were already there for, like, an hour, okay, just in that one spot. So, um, when the ladies uh, had sat down, they were just staring at me. I was just weird. So I just turned around. I'm just like, you know what? I'm ready to go. Um, and it wasn't because of them. I was just like, let's just go. Maybe subconsciously, maybe it was because, um, I just didn't want them staring at me. Like, I don't know. It was just weird. But anyway, so I decided to go, but instead of like walking up the rocks, like walking up the rocks. Uh, to get back onto the concrete, we just um, we just trailed along the the pond where you can walk, you can do that until you can't do that anymore. And now, like I've been doing um, explorations with my my kids, right? So basically, what that would um, what that would be is like um, 
visiting bar um uh visiting places that are that have been like abandoned and i'm checking the, those out like I'm going to put one up for you guys, like, um, a bear, like, it was an abandoned beer den, we had a lot of fun, that was, like, I don't know, a few weeks ago, anyway, I'll put that up for you guys, but this is what we do, and so I knew that there was a mansion that was on top of the hill that I used to go to all the time, because I used to live in Jamaica Plain, okay, and I used to go there all the time as a kid, so I'm like, oh, I want to show my kids there, because I know that they, at uh, some point years ago that they were trying to rebuild it so I was just like I wonder if they finished building it you know or is it still like kind of half take you know half built half not because it was like that for years anyways so um we were walking way down trying to figure out like where it was because I you know because like these are mansions that were like built like in the 1800s okay like they're old like you know what I mean so I'm like, you know what, here, let's just go this way because, like, there's stairs going up this way and then there's, like, a big park field. Like, when well, I tell you, it's, like, a huge field, fields and fields. So I had walked off into the field with my kids, right? I mean, kids were over, like, they're just mucking around, playing around, right? And I'm just, like, looking around and there's, like, these stairs. Looking. I should I didn't even take any footage of that because I just wanted to spend the time looking with the kids, whatever. But anyways, something again told me, like, Ramona, turn around, or Apple. Um, Apple, turn around, because, like, I was getting that burning feeling that somebody's staring at me again. So I had whipped my head around, you know, like, when I get those feelings, like, I don't, like, I don't know, just, like, you just look, because, like, you just get that inclination. But anyways, <laughs> um, so I had turned around. And this, those two ladies, now mind you, we've walked far at this point, right? The two, the, the same two old ladies way off in the distance because like we were like, we were pretty into like this is big field, okay? But I had seen them on the same trail that we just left. And they're standing side by side like this, shoulder to shoulder and staring. It was creepy as all hell. Just looking back, you ever watch that movie? And I'm not going to know the name of the movie, but that scary movie where the two twins are in that, like, they, like, flash, like, the, the twins used to live in this hotel or something like that. And then they have axe murdered. <laughs> and then they show, like, a scene where they're just, like, dead or whatever. And, like, that they haunt the place. I forget, like, the family that, um took over the hotel and then like it but it was haunted or whatever I don't know but you remember those two twins they totally reminded me of them because they were like standing like side like what well, here's her here's the other woman and they're standing shoulder to shoulder like staring at me through the field I'm like that's weird but I didn't see, I didn't do anything or anything. I just, uh, I thought that was weird. But as soon as I just, I went around the corner, I was just so into like having a good time. Like, I was just like, oh my God, these stairs are so awesome. They were like these stone stairs that went up further up the hill. And so I finally get up there and we go around the, the bend, right? And I finally find the mansion. Come to find out that they had torn down the mansion, but they kept the outline of the place and it was called Pine um, I forget what it's called. Pine, Pine something. I don't know. Jamaica Plain. Just look at, check it out if you want to check it out. It's like a mansion. Okay. Pine something. I forget the name of it. But, um, yeah, so we were sitting there and the kids were just having so much fun. We were running around like they, well, they were running around, whatever. Then boom, all of a sudden around the corner, here comes a, um, a park ranger. Now, I swear to God, of all my years living there, I've probably seen a park ranger there maybe twice in, I don't know, the 15 years that I lived there. And plus, I like, it's right down the street. This, um, this hub neighborhood is, like, right down the street from me. So I'm, we're always there going shopping or whatever, okay? So I'm like, I've never seen a park ranger there. Ba -ba -ba boom 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 there was the park ranger and then the park ranger came right oh first it um it stopped he stopped on his steed like 
but I didn't even think. Like, I'm just like, oh my god, there's a horse. Oh, I never saw that. I wish that I had my camera. I wish that I had my camera, right? So he he came over to us. He was like, would you like to pet the horse? Now, my son, like, he saw, he was, I, I, was, I hold, held his hand to go around the bed to go up to the horse to pet him. But he was like, oh, hell no. <laughs> you can go over there and pet the horse. And I was like, okay. And the horse was named Baron. Okay, so I'm like patting, patting the horse, patting the horse. Okay. So still, I don't think anything was um, uh issue with that, right? I didn't think that there was a big problem with that at all. Mind you, I'm making this comment. I'm making this sense when I got home. Okay. So it's just really, really weird. So we're again walking down to the second pond, which I think is called the Olmsted Pond, right? Because we're heading home, right? And I don't know. It's just so weird because I was just like, wow, there's like, there was this, uh, like these run, like this runner who passed by me. And then, and then when we got later down, like we decided to sit down because this is like a long walk. I'm not joking. Like we were walking for like six hours. I want to say about that six out, like long time. Okay. And this, but this one guy, he kept on running or not running, but like, he looked like he was a runner, but he was walking at this point. And first he walked by, I didn't pay any mind, but I did pay mind when he had walked back past me it was just if if you knew what I was talking about like about like the preservation I can understand like there's no reason to walk back and forth in front of us like and he kept and then he stared at us like like while we were walking by I'm like walking past I'm like now I didn't think anything of that other than he's creepy okay other than I didn't like put like him with the park ranger and the park ranger with those two old ladies right i didn't put those all together i just thought it was in that moment that one guy he was kind of creeping me out because this is not a place where the the police are going to be can be there like asap like do you understand like this is like a a forest but a preservation a big ass forest but it's a big preservation that type of thing and there were other people there, like, once in a while running by. Like, the people do exercise there, whatever. They jog and everything, okay? I was just like, okay, that's, like, kind of weird. Like, let's go. Let's go. So um, we kept walking, walking. Oh, my God. We were going to, um, well, I don't know. It was just crazy walking home. Anyways, I got home. It was just, it was just really odd. And then I was just laying in bed, and I was just like, you know what? That was freaking odd as all heck. I'm drinking my sleepy time tea. So I'm trying to relax myself to go to sleep. Anyway, um, and then it dawned on me. I think that those two old broads, those two white ladies, and I'm not trying to, oops, I'm not trying to like be rude or anything like that, but like, hey, my feelings are kind of hurt because I feel like this is what it was all about. I think those two old ladies see my white kid saw me as a, a very dark woman. Now, like you like in the camera, I don't look dark, but like in my face doesn't look dark. But trust and believe like I, I in the summertime, I get so dark, so dark. <laughs> right? I guess, like, my skin, this is literally super dark for me, like, super dark for me, right? At, like, I look, can you see? I don't know. I look, I'm, like, brown. Okay, like, I look like maybe Puerto Rican or I just look much darker than, than I look. But anyways, I do not look white, okay, at all. I look like I'm Puerto Rican. People always say I look like I'm Puerto Rican. Not a problem with that. But, like, it hurt my feelings to think that those, those old broads thought that I that maybe my son didn't belong to me. Which, by the way, the reason why I think that that's what happened. And then, then they probably went back. That's why they were staring at me side by side, watching me walk far away into the field until I disappeared around the corner. And then, boom, all of a sudden, we're, we get up to the hill five minutes, about five, seven minutes later or something like that, seven, eight minutes. I don't, I don't know what time, what, how, much, how long it took. 
but then the park ranger came and then I walked through the rest of the park and then that guy kept on running running back sorry I got cut off yeah, so I think that what I think is that those two old ladies had told the park ranger um, that they, they thought that there was something suspicious, that a white child, because my child, I'm half Irish and half black, okay, and my my youngest son, he takes a lot after the Irish side of us, you know, so like he has a straight hair, he has green eyes, he has like freckles and he, in his skin, he's got a bit of a tan, but it's like he tans like white people tan, like it's kind of tannish, like it doesn't look like I, like I turn brown when I tan, but he doesn't, he just, tan, he like either looks red at first and then he has like this nice tan, I don't know. But it's like white people <laughs> and he just doesn't look like everybody says that and you know he just t he takes after my my mom's side of the family just all irish okay short petite irish little all he all he need um is like what's the masculine thing oh, like a little bonnet but not a bonnet like <laughs> <laughs> but anyways yeah so i you know what i mean and then like there are undercover cops that work that dress like you and i in um and they use their walkie talkies and like so like if they think anything suspicious like one will trail off like if i'm walking too far one will trail off and another another park ranger undercover will like follow you know what i mean if they if they find anything that's suspicious right but like you really really pissed me off like it hurt my feelings i was like is that what that was all about because all of that was just so strange those two old ladies I, like when i say that i walked really really far and then when i walked where they couldn't walk anymore because now i'm headed into a field where it's like um where it's foresty like you know like they wouldn't be safe if they thought that i was like you know some kook you know so they stayed on they stayed near the pond um where everybody's at and then all of a sudden that park ranger who's never there i'm trying to tell you guys like um let me know because i know a lot of people who live in boston they know jamaica plain pond when was the last time you ever seen a park ranger at jamaica plain pond let me know okay so it was just really really weird and for him to come straight up to me like oh hi <laughs> you know and then then that other guy who kept on running pat um back and forth i mean like walking he wasn't even a runner he was walking back and forth staring at us it was just so odd it was just so odd and yeah so i really think that um they thought Maybe I don't know if like I was a kid, I was kidnapping the kid or whatever, but they clearly knew, knew that that kid didn't belong to me. It was just really odd, or the, or they suspected that that wasn't the case, um, that he belonged to me to me or whatever, but they just didn't know. But I I don't know. It was just weird. Like why didn't he just say the the ranger just come up to me and say, um, well legally they can't because I actually know. I know my rights like it's legally they can't do that they can't just pull you over for any reason unless they've actually seen um me doing something illegal if i'm just walking around the pond they can't just pull you over for looking suspicious you know because it's racist <laughs> but anyways like what do you guys think do you think that that's really odd i just think that that's odd how those women those two women they just sat down and as soon as I like I literally left as soon as they sat down um I left they left and then they followed 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 I didn't even know that they followed until I got to the field and I just happened to look behind me and then there they are staring at me and then like those rangers that ranger came by and yeah the whole thing I know I'm repeating myself but it was just all so weird and I wouldn't like think about this stuff unless there was something to it i was just laying in bed i'm just like i'm mainly thinking about not about the park ranger i just thought that was like cool at the time 
but it was mainly those two old broads that I just thought it was really, really odd, really, really strange, very weird. Anyways, leave your thoughts below. Um, this video is like so super long, but yeah, um, it was kind of random, rambly for the most part, I guess, because I was kind of really upset about the whole thing, but yeah, and uh, oh, and the other thing I was going to say, like, this is not the first time that this has happened to me, this is more, like, scary and weird of an experience I've had, uh, pertaining to me as a mom who has darker skin in the summertime, because every time these weird things happen to me, it's in the summertime when I've gotten, like, this really, really deep, 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 deep golden, golden tan, right? And, like, nobody thinks that um, my son belongs to me because he's, like, so fair in color with green eyes and straight hair. <sighs> Whatever. Um, yeah. Uh, like, this, oh, it's, uh, like, it's like, um, like, I'll give you an example of last year. I was sitting at Brigham Circle, right, and my son was playing in the circle and there was like this couple they were frantic they were so frantic they were frantic they're like because if they're looking around there's like the parents are clearly they're looking for white parents right nobody's here nobody's there like this kid's all by himself and i'm like <laughs> he's with me he's my son and they're like oh oh he's your son i'm like <sighs> Yeah, it's my son. Assholes. I don't know if that happens to me every freaking summer. Like they don't think that he's he's my kid. And then God forbid, oh, there was another time. Let me um this is why I, this is I just wanted to point these things out just so you know like where I'm coming from. Another time, this is right right in my community. My son gives me five hundred hugs in a day. <laughs> Like a little annoying, but at the same time, I know it's because he loves me so much. He's just very clingy with me. Um, but like, so yeah, so if we're at the park for about three hours, which we, that's how long we're usually there when I take him to the park, right? He'll come up to me, like hug me every two minutes, every two minutes. And then this one lady came up to me, fucking stupid, whatever. She was like this. She's like, that's just not right for him to, you know, be you shouldn't have him hugging you and stuff like that. And I'm like, I just didn't, I just looked at her like, you know, because I'm so used to strange people because I am from the city. I just looked at her. I'm like, I didn't even know what the hell she was talking about. And, but then she kept on doing it to me. Like every time I would go to the park, she's like, and then one day she comes up to me. She's like, is that your son? And I'm like, yes, he's my son. And she was like, oh, <laughs> I'm like, yeah, you dumb bitch. You thought that you thought that it wasn't normal for uh, a child to be hugging their babysitter, their babysitter like that. You know what I mean? Because that's clearly she clearly right right off the bat. She just thought like, oh, you're the babysitter. You couldn't possibly be the mom because you're so dark and your son is clearly white. Just so freaking annoying. But that really, like, just, that was just, like, the biggest experience that I've had today. I don't know. You guys leave your, your comments down below and you let me know, like, what do you think? Okay. Mm -hmm. I gotta go because I'm going to try to get some sleep. Does it sound like um, I, my voice is cracky, but <sighs> I'm going to just try to lay down because I'm not trying to be tired tomorrow. Okay. Bye, everyone. I'll talk to you guys later. Okay, bye.